Welcome back to Final Fantasy Brave XPS. Today I'm going to teach you how to do switch controls for iOS. This function is available for all iOS devices. Uh, make sure you have the latest update. Now the first thing we want to do is to find out the particular locations for the Trust Farm Reward Mastery quest. Um, that's going to be the very first um, quest. It's Earth Shrine entrance. Uh, you want to um, find some uh, particular item, put it this particular uh, spot, or just draw on it. Um, you want to click on Earth Shrine. It's going to be the first spot. The second spot is going to pick um, Depart Without Companion. This is where you filter out no companion is going to come with you. And the third spot is going to be Depart. And the final spot is going to be Auto, 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 auto. <laughs> now these are the spots on the screen. Now you want to make sure you have something to mark down on your screen, uh, like a dry erase marker or some paper. You just you know, just mark each spot that you want to tap. One, two, and three. Dry erase marker is pretty cool. Just mark it on the screen, and then you could just erase it off. <laughs> now we're going to your general settings. <laughs> We can go to accessibility, and we're gonna go to switch control bishes. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and switch, <clears throat> create our recipe. We're gonna call it the Final Fantasy. <laughs> you can go to full screen, you're going to go to custom gesture, you're going to hide controls. And this is where you want to have some items or you want to draw on your screen and where, where you want to hit your buttons. The first spot, second spot. Oops, I think I messed up. Here, do it again. Just come with custom gesture, hide controls. First spot, second spot, third spot, and fourth spot. Da -da 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 -da. You want to save your gesture. You want to make sure you assign this one as your active recipe. <clears throat> I was already in an auto quest um, before I made this video, and I thought, oh no. So I'm going to log back into the game and finish the auto quest. And then we're going to turn on switch controls so y'all can see what it's like. <sighs> Turn down the volume. Okay, we're just going to head auto out of this real fast. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, what you want to have set up, you want to have make sure you have your TMR team ready. Um, that's what rewards you're going after. Just make sure this is the team you want to be farming. And um, you want to be on the first continent. The Grand sh whatever aisle, and you will be in the Earth Shrine. We're going to do the first entrance. This is the fastest run. That way, switch control will go as far as you want. You also want to have your filter set to one star, that, so you won't bring any companions. That way, you don't have to worry about if you run out of friends, you will get like um, a non friend, and it's going to ask you to do you want a request. You don't want to worry about any of this stuff, so you want to make sure you have filters on. You want to have your non friend set. Now, you want to hit triple tap to activate the switch control. Now, what we forgot to do was assign the switch control, so we're going to go back into um, the settings and assign switch control. Okay, we're going to hit the edit button and switch it to the recipe we want to activate. Then go back into the game and hit the triple tap on the home button. And you want to start tapping in the middle screen. You'll see those four dots up here for where you want the switch control to go. <clears throat> Pretty cool beans. You do have to tap for quite a bit to keep it going because each tap equals one run through. So one tap equals four taps on the screen. So, you just want to tap according to how long you want the game to go. You can tap from very beginning, and it will stack, and it will go on its own. That's what that's what I do. I usually tap 5, 10 minutes, you know, or a couple of seconds, just depending on how long I want switch control to go. Now, anytime you want to deactivate switch control, you want to hit the, the close button on the right side of the phone, 
it will shut off. It will do a soft shut off, you can see. And then you just triple tap to turn it off. And you know, triple tap, and then you just tap the home button to go back into the game. And then your switch control will be off. You want to turn it back on, just triple tap while you're in the game. <clears throat> now, you, feel, you see how the switch control is covering the time slot. Now, you want to do that double tap on the home button to bring the screen down. And then you want to close the screen out. Then you want to open it back up, and when you activate switch control again, it will be in the middle of the screen, and then you can see your time stamp. Um, that's one feature I did uh, had to figure out on my own. I was like, oh man, I need to know what the timing is, because I bring my phone over where I go. So that's, uh, that's what I did. Just do soft tap, soft double tap to bring the screen halfway down. Close the screen, um, phone off by doing that soft turn off on the right side button on the right side of the phone. And hit the home button to open it back up, and you see the switch control is in the middle of the screen again. So that's basically switch control in a nutshell. You know, again, to you, you want to have your four slots, um, four spots clicked for where you want it to run. Oh, as you can see, the switch control just ran out because I didn't tap the screen enough. So we can tap the screen some more to keep um to start it again, and um. So anyways, basically, you want to have your four spots, you want to have a no friend set, you want to have your TMR um, group set also, and switch control depends on how many taps you do on the screen. So I do probably, if I want to do a long run, like right before I'm going on bed, I do like five to ten minutes, or I mean 20 minutes of tapping, that way it will run for about three hours, and I do the fast tap. <laughs> And also, if you want switch control to not cover up your time slot, just remember, just do the soft double tap on your phone, um, home button to bring um, your screen down. And then you hit the right button on the right, I mean, the button on the right side of your phone to turn it off. And then just hit the home button to open back up. And switch control is now on in the middle of your screen. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.